All right, guys, it's 1.29 in the afternoon right now. I got my mom here with me. I just finished my video from yesterday. This is a Black Ops 2 free-for-all video. My mom came up to my room. I was like, Ma, vlog me real quick. She asked me what I was doing for the day. I told her we're going over to the Face House. We're going to be going to New York City. She asked me what I was doing for dinner because I told my mom that I'm going to be taking her out to dinner at Red Lobster. I don't know if you guys watched the video on my channel I posted like two months ago, but I made a video. I titled it Mother's Day Surprise. Yes. And I told my mom that I'm going to be taking her on a trip to Florida. She already came back from that trip about a month ago. It was awesome. Thank you very much. You're so awkward on the camera, Ma. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You try to make she's me shaking awkward. right now. I don't know if you guys can tell, but she's like shaking back and forth. I'm setting her I'm up playing. so well. I'm setting her up so well, and she's still a little bit uncomfortable. We're going to break her in, guys. We're going to make her comfortable on the camera. I'm going to be going over to the face house, going to New York City today. It's going to be a great, great day, guys. Peace. Peace. <laughs> With Nikon. Hello. And right now we're waiting on Blaze going to go edit his video and finish it. We're about to go to the city for the day. We're going to have a lot of fun. We We've actually literally been waiting for like four hours now. Yeah, we're, it's all good though. Blaze Kins, you know, editing his video has to do his thing. So we're going to go over to the city. We're going to go, we have a steakhouse reservation. We're going to go like the biggest Foot Locker ever. No pun intended because I'm with Nikon right now. <laughs> Nikon's going to try to find some shoes and stuff. We're going to try to find some swag. I might buy another pair of shoes because he brought it up to me. He's like, dog. Did you know that they have the biggest Foot Locker huge, ever in the city? He knows that I'm a shoe fanatic. He knows that I'm obsessed with shoes. So since he said that to me, I was like, Nikon, why would you tell me that, dude? Why would you say that? Now you know I'm going to buy some Sorry, shoes. Dude. So we're probably going to go out and head to the city. And uh, we're just going to wait on Blaziken and go finish this video, guys. So we've been waiting about two hours for Blaziken. We just pranked him really, really well. And I came into the face house kitchen because I want to get a water bottle. There's nothing in the fridge at all. And I walked over here and I saw this. I was like, oh. There's a water bottle sitting right over here. Let me go grab it. And then I realized that somebody took a little sip out of the water bottle and they just placed it here. So somebody already drank this. I don't like to drink other people's stuff. And they took one little sip and just left it on the counter. That is honestly one of my biggest pet peeves is when somebody just takes a little sip of water and leaves it out somewhere. There's so many things of water in this house and nobody puts them in the fridge. So every time I come over here, I gotta bring my own drinks, bring my own stuff because I know it's like a free for all and everyone just fends for themselves. You guys an update, Blaziken is still editing his video. It's like 5.30 now. We're not gonna get to the city, it's 7 o'clock. I can't, I literally cannot bring this. I was an idiot. It, it's like a little fucking satchel. <laughs> It's so small. <laughs> I was laying down on this couch when all of a sudden Nikon started to walk around and he asked me if he should bring this Gamma Labs bag so he could put his stuff in the bag. I need my charger, dude. It's my phone's gonna die. <laughs> dude, then I guess you need to use the bag. It's this small. I don't know what to tell you, man. I look like an idiot with it. <laughs> Three hours later. Oh my god. If you're gonna keep bitching about it, I might as well just slap you in the face. So it's about 6 o'clock right now, 6.30. We finally got to the train station. It's just me, Blaziken, and Nikon. We're probably going to go out to some steakhouse. We made reservations for 8.30 at this place called Uncle Jack's. I cannot wait to show these guys it. They've never been in the city before. This is their first time. So He's been in the city before. I've been there once, been, but it was, during the, it was in the morning, so it wasn't really cool. Okay, so Nikon's been there once. Blaziken's never been in the city. He's actually been recording a day in the life as well for his channel. If you guys want to go check it out. I'll put a link in the description below, guys. We'll catch you guys when we get over to the city. So we're talking about going to the movies, and the first thing we see is a poster for Ant-Man. I'm pretty sure. Yo, Nikon, are you down to see Ant-Man tonight? Hell yeah, dude. All right, we're going to go see Ant-Man. So we got some reservations at a steakhouse. It just changed again. Yo, this place probably has your... Oh, they probably do have... We're going to go inside the store and try to find some Flyknit Air Maxes while we're here, too. There's no Flyknits. They only have Air Maxes. No luck in here, guys. We're in store number two. Nikon is trying to find a shirt that fits him. We're in one of the biggest foot lockers I have ever seen, and they do not sell Flyknit Air Max Nike shoes here. Unbelievable. Oh, my God. As we're outside of the Empire State Building, we just bought our tickets to go upstairs. I didn't know that you could buy tickets outside from ticket agents like yes, you. Yes, you can, yeah. I thought you had to go inside of the building to buy the tickets, but apparently we could get like a fast pass. It only is like five extra dollars instead of waiting for an hour and a half. We only got to wait for 15 minutes, so that's what we just did. And uh, where exactly are we going to? Which building? Right here, Empire Straight up here? Yeah, straight up. That's Vaminos. One of the things with the Empire State Building is that it's mandatory to take a picture with this camera on this green screen. Every person who walks inside has to take a picture. Thug life, baby. We just walked up 16 flights of stairs to get the Empire State Building. But ladies and gentlemen, I think we just made it. All right, guys, it's really crowded up here at the Empire State Building. I'm with Lucas, and you guys can see up in the background. But yeah, we're on top of the Empire State Building right now, and there's a really long line of people, and I don't want to keep them all waiting, but I want to show you guys a little bit of what we could see from here.
right, so we're about to head out of the Empire State Building and go to Uncle Jack's Steakhouse. Sensations or sensor subscribers, whatever he calls you guys. I'm taking over the vlog real quick and I just wanted to tell you guys that uh, me, Nikon, and Doug are in a really nice steakhouse right now. It's like the fanciest steakhouse in all of New York and I want to show you guys what he's wearing. <laughs> So embarrassing. All right, guys, we just finished up at Uncle Jack's, me, Nikon, Blaziken. We just had a really good conversation with a lawyer who's from Miami. We're talking about a lot of other weird, crazy stuff that I wish I could have recorded because it was a really interesting conversation. But you guys probably, you guys probably wouldn't be able to. Nah, it wasn't, it wasn't entertaining for YouTube. It was too long and too like, I don't know. But, but I just feel, I just feel was better cool now. Yeah, he was a pretty cool dude. He was a lawyer from Miami. I think I just said that. But uh, right now, what we're going to be doing is walking over or trying to get a cab over to Times Square. Nikon wants to try to find some shoes in a Foot Locker. I know I want to get some Air Max Flyknit shoes. Then we're probably going to go see a movie and then go head back to the house. All right, so I'm with Nikon right now, and we're at Times Square, guys. This place, I don't know if it looks as good in the cameras as it does in person. It looks pretty cool, actually. This is a really, really cool place in New York City to go to. If you guys have never been to New York City before, when you go to New York City, if you ever do go to New York City, you have to go to Times Square. I think something's going on in front of me right now. So I think up ahead there's like a giant board where a bunch of people are just standing and taking pictures of this. And we're gonna try to do that right now, guys. So guys, there's a giant board in Times Square that shows a street of a bunch of people, which happens to be right over here. These are all the people just standing out posing just for this giant board so they can see themselves in this giant big screen. On a side note, somebody tell me how many times it just said giant in the comments. Yo, Nikon. Yeah. I think this building's no, it's not bigger than you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's 10.05 at night, and I feel like everyone around me, I don't know where it is. There's like a G Fuel ad somewhere in the city, and what I want to do is when Yannette comes here, I'm going to be taking her to the city, obviously. I want to have Cliff just put up the G Fuel ad of like a picture of her and I or something, and just like take a selfie or a vlog in front of that, and like make that the thumbnail for a YouTube video. I think that would be so cool, just having the ad actually showing like our faces or I'm my pretty face. Sure it's, I'm pretty sure it's that one, but they just rotate. What, the, uh, the oh, pole, over there, straight yeah. ahead? So yeah. the ad is apparently up here. I'm going to turn around the camera and show you guys. There's a lot of people standing in front of us. At this time at night, like 10 o'clock at night, there's so many people outside and everyone has a camera. I feel like everyone's vlogging just like myself. I just came into the, I just said I just, it just went into the Nike, not the Nike store. I just said I just came, I just said we went to the Nike store. We're in the biggest Foot Locker in Times Square in New York City and you're telling me that the only selection of Air Maxes they have is this? That's it? That, that's it? Seriously? They don't even have any fly nets, nothing? It's so butter. It's so butter. Right? This is like one of the only times in my vlogs that I'm actually pissed off from that. <laughs> Alright guys, we're at the smoothie place waiting for our train. This is by far the biggest smoothie I've ever seen in my entire life. It might even be bigger than... No, it's, it's definitely not bigger than Econ. Three things I want to talk about in the outro of this vlog before I finally call it a day. One, we did prank Blaziken. It's going to go up on my channel tomorrow. Two, what you guys will be watching later on my channel is one of the most spontaneous and funniest things I've ever seen in my entire life. I cannot wait to share with you. And three, I was talking about the entire day how I was waiting to find some Flyknit Air Maxes in the city, and it just so happened that I got a package from Nike, well from Foot Locker, I ordered these online, I'm not sponsored by Nike or anything. I ordered these online like a few days ago and they weren't supposed to come in for like two to three weeks. They came in in three days. These are the new Air Max Flyknit Nikes. I am in love, I am a huge sneakerhead, and this is by far my favorite shoe. I'm gonna add them to the collection. I wanna show you guys really quick my collection of shoes. I got the Flyknit Air Maxes, I got the 2014 Flyknit or the regular Air Maxes, I'm not sure. These I just picked up the other day. These are new Air Maxes. This is the exact same one but in blue and green. I have these Seattle Seahawk Edition shoes and then I have the Fly Trappers or the Shoe Trapper, red and black. So I bought these because I had that phase black jersey. I wanted it to match but I am a huge, huge sneakerhead, guys. And to see these, to see these bad boys come into my house today just made me so excited. Just looking at them on the camera just makes me excited. I can't wait to wear these and work out in these with my Gymshark shirt. And I'm, I know I'm sounding like I'm pulling the crap out of them, and I kind of am, but you know, I just I just can't wait. It really makes me happy. Just having good outfits, having good shoes, and, and working out is just like one of my favorite things in the entire world. I love doing it. I love doing it so much. So that's what I'm going to end the vlog for today, guys. Like I said, today on my channel is going to be something different, something I never expected to happen, but 
it's really funny and I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys so much for all the likes and the videos. If you have anything you guys want to say to me at all, put it in the comments down below. Hope you guys have a great day. This has been your boy Doug Sensor Martin and I'm out guys. Peace. Before I do the intro or anything to this video at all, this is the first lobby I joined. His name is X Fart Like a Boss X. I just needed to point that out. What is going on guys? Dukes and Samarani. Hope you guys are having a great 